Hello and welcome. This is Makara Manju, the founder of Bull Unite. Today you're joining me for another episode of the Entrepreneurship and Parenting series. Today I wanted to take time um, to cover an important question that comes up when you're a parent and you want to start a company or you want to start your own business, right? And that question is, how do I get the time, Mukharam? Um, and, I, and I'll say this to you. A lot of people say, Mukharam, you give, much, you give me the tips on how to do this and how to accomplish my business, how to become successful, but what about the time, okay? Most people, that's their biggest challenge. When you're a parent and you want to start a company, you always think about, well, where do I get the time? Because when you're a parent, you just run out of time every day. You know that. I have four kids. And so even if you have one child or you have multiple children, I understand the exhaustion that you feel at the end of the night when you're done with all your parenting duties. Uh, and especially if you're working and you come back home and you take care of the kids, even if you're at home, how exhausting it is for moms that stay at home or even dads that stay at home. I'll tell you something at night. Sometimes it is so exhausting that when I sit down, I just don't even think of doing anything else. We're just going to sleep. So I get it when you say as a parent, where do I get the time? So here are some tips on how to solve that time challenge that you have, okay? So number one, understand that when you make the decision, if you've watched the other episodes that we've done, if you haven't, please go and watch them because we're doing this in step-by-step -step mode. If once you've made the decision that you wanna have a business and you wanna start your business, then you have to understand that this is a commitment to your future a commitment to accomplishing your future dreams. So you have to be extremely serious about your commitment to get this done. Because if you're not committed to putting the time that's needed for this, it's just going to wane away. And what do I mean by this? Here's a good example. People say, well, I want to work out. I want to look good. I want to feel strong. But if it's not important to them, and if they're not committed to it, they won't make the time to work out. Some people say, well, I want to have a better relationship with my, with my spouse. I want to have a better relationship with my kids. But if they're not committed to it, they won't put the time. So this is why I'm saying, first, communicate it in, within you and in your mind that this is what you want and you're serious about it and commit to it 100%, not one foot out, one foot in. Then you will make the time because believe you me, if you commit to something, you will find time in the day to dedicate to that okay so that's one second delegate some tasks now this is an interesting concept what do I mean by that in the business side of it if there's any administrative tasks like we talked about in one of the episodes like registering the company bookkeeping doing things like this I know that most entrepreneurs when they start out they say well I want to do everything by myself I want to save money as much as possible which is a good concept okay it is um, it makes sense but this hack of delegating some of these early tasks actually helps you accomplish your goal and here's an example let's say you have started your company then you pay for a small service like if it's a if it's a registration company or if it's a bookkeeping company even though it's a small fee you're paying the time that it re that it frees up for you allows you to build on your creative energy that you need to build your company and do what's necessary, okay? Now, some people will say, hey, Mukharam, what about all the money? I mean, I, I, I mean I'm already strapped, so I don't wanna spend money on this and on delegating. We'll get to the money question in another episode, okay? And I will show you how to deal with that. But for today, understand it's worth it to spend some money to delegate some of your tasks, especially in the early stages of when you're starting your business, because it'll free up the, the right kind of productive time that you need to build your vision and build your future for your company, okay? The other thing when it comes to delegating is when you have kids, if you're a parent and you have kids, sometimes find some help. Get some of your family members to help you with your kids. If not, pay somebody for a few hours to help you with your kids. Don't think of it as, hey, if I'm paying this, then I, uh, I'm, I'm not saving money for my business. Actually, by, by spending that money for a few hours, I'm not saying hire someone for eight hours a day or anything like that. But if you hire someone for a couple hours a day, then that time will allow you to build your company, which will give you the freedom that you want one day from all of the exhaustion that you have. 
okay so second point delegate some tasks and if it's required spend a little bit of, of money for your delegation number three this is the most important find the right quiet times in your day as a parent to focus on building your company what do i mean by this all parents all of us parents we know that there are certain quiet times that i know the first thing we think of is go watch some tv go veg right go uh, sit down and just relax but this is the time that your commitment comes in and says hey this is when i have to work on it let me give you some examples early mornings early mornings your kids are asleep the house is quiet commit to your task commit to your dream so spend that time working on it and you'll see how productive you are in that early morning hours okay next when you when your kids go to bed have a particular bedtime for your kids because if you don't then it just takes away so much of that time at night that you can work on your craft work on your business so have your kids go to bed at a certain time so then after that maybe half an hour later you can start spending and focusing on your company and building your business okay now here's the last thing i want to leave you with you have to sleep less i know you're going oh mukarm you did not say that yes if you're going to be a successful entrepreneur you want to build a multi-million dollar company one day you have to sacrifice your sleep early on later on when you build your company you can take naps you can sleep okay but now you can't and i'll give you an example there's 24 hours in a day 24 hours i don't care where you are on planet earth that's all you get 24 hours most people say you need to sleep eight hours a day now think about this if you sleep eight hours a day that's one third of your entire day if there's 24 hours in a day and if you sleep eight hours you've given up one third of your day so you have two thirds of the day left to carry on everything. That's not a good equation, okay? That's why try to reduce the number of hours you sleep. You don't need eight hours a day in the beginning. Start sleeping less, wake up earlier. That way you can spend more time on your craft. So remember that, okay? So quickly, dedicate to your commitment. Understand how important it is. Delegate some of your tasks, and if you have to pay for it, pay for it. We'll deal with the money question later and then find quiet times and sleep less and create more productivity during your day. Thank you for joining me on this. If you have any comments and you have uh, questions, please you know, get in touch with me and I would love to answer them and, and we can also learn from you and join us for the next episode. Uh, happy and successful investing and building your future.